Hello everyone. I want to make a sermon this morning, a video. Uh, please bear with me. I've got sinus allergies pretty bad this morning, but we'll see if we can't get through it. Uh, I'm going to be in the 13th chapter of Proverbs. I'm on the Proverbs series right now. <clears throat> and uh, this chapter's got 25 verses. It's in the King James Version. You can read it when you get ready, but uh, I'm going to just kind of select the verses I think will be pertinent to you this morning. So it says, A wise son heareth his father's instructions, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. Uh, you know, you 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 have a, you have a, you don't appreciate when you're a child. You think. Uh, man, if I, when I get grown, I'm gonna I'm gonna be easy on my children, this, that, and the other. But you begin to see a little bit more when you get on a, out on your own like that. Um, help me! I, I pray that the Lord will help me not to be resistant, not to be uh, uh, where I can't take teaching. Uh, I don't ever want to be offended. I don't ever be insulted because I want to take what God's word uh, has got to offer me. Verse 6 says, I'm going to skip down there, Righteousness keepeth, keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthrow the sinner. <clears throat> I know my brother Dwayne that passed away, he, he loved Westerns, and I know a lot of other people do too because, you know, the good guy always wins. Uh, uh, righteousness always wins and wickedness is is loses every time uh, I think people that like westerns like Dwayne did is because uh, there was such a basic sense of justice in those things uh, we all want justice and we all want to and need to believe that good will ultimately prevail over evil and that evil will be lose and be destroyed eventually it said, uh, "There is he. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath hath nothing. There is that maketh poor, yet hath great riches." Um, we look at the dollar. We we think about things, and we put them in a great importance. But things aren't important. People is what's important. Uh, friends are those are the those are the things that's important and the other things uh not people that go after things wind up uh not satisfied verse 9 says the light of the righteous rejoices but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out uh, you know you I, I i went to school and there's people that studied and and uh, they did well. When the test come, they weren't panicky. Uh, they knew that they had prepared for the material. And then there's those that will stay up all night, take no dose or whatever you call those things to help you stay awake. And uh, they're exhausted before the test comes. And uh, w when we do the things we know we should and that we are prepared, we're not all... Uh, in a panic and it's the same way with being prepared spiritually the choice is ours we can uh, we can wait to the last minute or we can be prepared in advance uh, or we can be prepared or we can we can be not prepared and there's there's no contest with that in my opinion I mean uh, Verse 10 says, Only by pride cometh contention, but with a well advice is wisdom. Uh, I've seen different kind of teachers in my life. Uh, those that try to intimidate you and those that, uh, that it's, it's like a, an old sock. It's so comfortable. Uh, when we get too proud of ourselves, we lose our ability to communicate with other people I try to I'm not the best I, but I try to uh, remember when I'm reading the scripture 
what it was about the scripture I didn't understand at first. I think sometimes over time we forget what it was we didn't understand. Now stay with me today. I would really appreciate that. We, we forget what we didn't understand. And uh, so though we don't understand why other people don't. I want to always remember what it was like when I didn't understand certain things. When we get too proud of our accomplishments, think we know a whole lot. We lose the ability to communicate with other people. Um, the Bible says something like teaching the truth with love. So if you don't put love with it, you're not getting any word. We're called to show love and caring for other people. Uh, we cannot, we cannot show the appropriate love for other people if we think they're inferior to us. There's, there's nobody like that. I remember back years ago, I've always liked motivational uh, books and tapes and CDs and that kind of thing. And there's one that came out and said, I'm okay, you're okay. Uh, you know, the Bible says, let each esteem others better than themselves. So I think that's the thing to do. And what I know is not nearly as important as who I am. And who I am is not even close to what God created me to be. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Let's see. God rewards those who are steadfast in their efforts and their labors. He don't forget about them people. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but with the when desire cometh is a tree of life. That's verse twelve. Verse thirteen says, Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Verse 16 says, Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. Sometimes we just don't know when to be quiet. Uh, we just keep on talking. That's when we get in trouble. We start talking about uh, over, over, you know, I, I know in football you can over punch your coverage. We That's kind of like over punching your coverage. When you talk about things that you don't know anything about. Um, I want God to guide my words. Uh, I want my words to be of kindness and charity and clarity and uh, help me to know when it's better not to speak at all. If, if what you say is not better than, than silence, then it's probably better to leave it all. Verse 18 says, Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. I heard a story said they asked this man that was real successful in business, what was his secret? And he said, I never think I know anything, everything. I'm always ready to learn a new idea, and I always want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing something wrong. Uh, you know, you can, you can learn from the youngest of people. I've spent a lot of time talking about my grandson, Grant. He taught me uh, so much. That I've got so many things I could relate to you and have it probably every one of the things in different times in these videos. Uh, uh, one time, Grant, I could tell you a lot of different stories, but one time Grant was over at the house and he had a lot of chocolate that day. And he was bouncing off the wall when nighttime came. And I decided I'd go to bed. He always slept with me. And furthermore, he always slept on my arm. And I was pretty grouchy. And I'm not glad of that, but that's what happened. And I went to bed, and I was laying there thinking about what a hill I was. And I heard footsteps coming down the hallway. And I thought, oh, my goodness, surely not. Surely not. He's not coming to bed after all that grouch. And he stood at the end of the, at the door, and he said, Papa. Can I lay down with you? And I said, yeah. And he said, uh, I thought, I, I, th I thought when I heard the footsteps, said, don't come back here. It's a, it's a grouch in here. 
he said, Papa, can I lay on your arm? And I thought, my goodness, yeah. I didn't know what to say, so I said, Grant, do you forgive Papa? And he said, yeah, Papa. He looked at me like he couldn't believe the words were coming out of my mouth. And he said, best buds forgive. So that's what I'm telling you that I learned from a little old boy, five or six years old or, or younger. Uh, you know, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. The companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursueth sinners, but righteous good shall be repaid. Uh, you know, there's certain states, I think, that uh, if you are stealing, if you're with people stealing and they commit a murder, there's a certain amount of charge goes on you, although you didn't pull the trigger. So if you're with people and they're doing wrong, you need to run from that as fast as you can. Verse 24. Alone just a minute, children of God. He that spareth his Rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be times. And that verse 25 says, The righteous eateth to the satisfying of his soul, but the wicked shall walk. Two men have been friends all their life, and one that was really wealthy told the other one, the other one was pretty well off, said, Why is it you're so much? You have so much less than I do, but you appear to be much happier. And he said, he said, you're never satisfied with what you have, but you've always wanted more. And uh, a wise man is satisfied with that that he's got. And when he gets enough, he wants to share it with other people. Uh, I've enjoyed getting this series to you. As I've said many, many times in these I didn't do this to replace your minister or replace you getting to church. I love you with all my heart, and I'm just trying to help you. You know, there's people in the rehab, in the hospital, uh, nursing homes. You may be flat on your back, sick. Uh, the coronavirus has kept us away from church. So I want to help you in any way I can. And uh, if you see something that would help you that, that maybe I can do, would you let me know? And if you call me, my number is 256-508-4410. And if you call me, I don't answer. Would you leave me a message? I, there's a lot of people that call. They're not in my contact list, and I don't know who it, who it is. But if you'll leave a message, I'll try to get back to you. So until we do this next time, may God bless you.